In this episode of Crazy Train, me and the Godfrey clan take off to the Adriatic Sea for a short vacation. But in typical Nitro fashion, our vacation quickly turns into a competition. Meanwhile, Tommy Crum, Roner, Dusty, and Jolene head north to Fonstein for some fun in the land of the never setting sun and pretty much destroy everything. It's weird. I crash these things every time I jump them. We've been touring around Europe again, and this tour, we have a little break in the middle, which is pretty unusual for us. But most of the cast and the crew are heading home. For a few of us, we're gonna stay in Europe and have some fun. Rubs is taking some of the cast up to Sweden, and I'm taking the Godfreys for a little R&R &R in Croatia. Just what we need. Get off my phone. Croatia is a hidden gem. It is paradise. Travis rented this beautiful pirate ship for us to hang out on, but you can feel his ADD kicking in. Come on, guys, what are you waiting for? There. That day off. Recovery. That's exactly where we're gonna go play. Less swimming, more sleepy. I bet you guys are hungry. We don't have enough food for everyone, so last one to the beach. Um, doesn't get food. So as the ringleader of this little group, I decided to turn our vacation into a winner's win. At the end of the day, winner's win is just a nicer way of seeing who's gonna go first or who has to do something they really don't wanna do. And if you win, you get the opportunity to go first, even if you don't want to. Once Travis started the first competition, I knew it was over from there. It was totally unfair. I was obviously winning, and Gavin comes out of nowhere with a kayak, everyone jumps on, and they just decide to pass me. Hey, come this way. I was a little sour about it, too. <laughs> Gotta give it to Gavin. It's not about working harder, it's about working smarter. And I won. Didn't take long for the boys to get the gist of this vacation. Gav came out swinging with the first win. And now it's time for Josh to go get her lunch ready for the next event. Well, I haven't swam that far in a while. Yeah, so Roner set this up. Apparently knows this guy, Johan, who works up at this resort. And uh, I guess they have a bunch of toys, and they're just psyched for us to come up for a couple days and have some fun. Is hot. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, dude. Johan, I like you already. Yeah. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome. You're loose. I like you already. Nice entrance to Queen. So they gave us a lot of expensive toys to play with, which I'm not entirely sure what they were expecting, but we did what we usually do, which was pretty much break everything. Mm -hmm. 
After a few hours, we realized how rad this place is. It's thousands of acres with a bunch of toys to mob around on. Whoever gave him the keys to this thing has no idea that he has the worst track record out of everyone in a razor. He's demolished at least five of these things. I don't know what you're talking about, Dusty. Everyone knows that I'm in complete control of any vehicle that I am driving. Hell yeah. I told you. Driving razors is extremely fun and exciting. Sometimes you get a little overexcited and decide you should jump it when you probably shouldn't. That's what I did. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> hey, it's weird. I crash these things every time I jump them. <laughs> Basically, I think they sucked up too much dirt and silt and they're not running properly. Among the toys that have been given to us uh, are top-of-the-line jet skis with supercharged engines that go really, really fast. We've been here for over 18 hours, and the sun just will not set, which means no one's slept at all yet. It's kind of weird, to be honest, and it's making everyone go a little crazy. So we're on super sick jet skis in a super sick river, the super sick part of the world. We're just ripping up and down this river, and all of a sudden the jet skis just start not ripping. And we understand that we were ripping the bottom of the river into the jet skis and then back out, which isn't apparently good for the motor. It's so weird. I'm working my way back down. Oh. Oh. Dude, it broke. I'm not kidding. <laughs> the only thing we can do at this point is push Tommy and let the current take him back no, down. No, I'm not going with the current. You have back to. Go. I don't care. Now we're just getting word over the radio that Tommy just destroyed a brand new jet ski, and now Dove and Cody and Roner have to go push this thing all the way upstream to get it out. I'll admit, I'm a little bit of a diva. My jet ski stops working, so we're on a river. It's obviously right next to a road, so I just get off the jet ski and go to the road. Not only did Tommy break the jet ski, but I mean, he was happy just to wash his hands of it and leave it alone and let it flow down river. Of course, we had to drag it up the flowing river in freezing ass water, and to him, it's just a joke. Should I feel bad for not helping him? Nah. I don't know what they're bitching about. I got a rope. <laughs> hey, how far away is that sauna village? Oh, you're looking for proper footholds, bro. Ah! <laughs> Good job, team. <laughs> Maybe coming up the river wasn't such a good idea after all. I guess I just bought myself a seat. Nitro just bought themselves a CD. <laughs> yeah, Josh, way to get lunch, man. Uh, uh, that's, that's lunch? That's all I could find. One fish. But I just spent 45 minutes growing this. Ugh. All right, winners win. Here's the deal. We're going to jump over here. They said it's about no, 60 whoa, feet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every time you get to pick the game because you're better at it. Yeah. We're picking the game this time. I'm always better at it. For this, pull-ups. Whoever does the most pull-ups gets lunch. One, two, three, one. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Ten. Eleven. Uh, I don't even fish anyways. Wow. You get 13, you, you win. You touched. Oh, 13. Yeah, Winner. As it turns out, I'm not that great at pull-ups. 
Or maybe Ethan was just a little hungrier than I was. Oh, dude, this was so good. <laughs> a lot of bones. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> dude, dude, you gotta eat it all. I don't even like fish. Full of bones, but winning has never tasted so good. Thank you. Little known fact, if you are above the Arctic Circle in the middle of summer, the sun doesn't actually ever set. So it's going to be daytime the entire time we're here. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna see what happens. I don't know why they did it, but if you go piling dirt next to roofs and give us a bunch of motorized vehicles, you can't be bummed out when someone goes and jumps on top of your roof. Just saying. This is getting ridiculous. You can't just go riding quads on people's roofs. I need to get these guys out of here before they do anything worse. No one even goes on the roof. They're not even gonna see it. Oh, they saw it. Since the sun's never gonna set, we have to stay awake and have the best time of our life. It's like having the best day of your life, but it never, ever stops. of eternal sun. Let's keep going. Let's, let's yeah. keep going. Let's go. Stop now. Come on, go, go. We got plenty. Driving around in the woods, I look over my shoulder, and Jolene's holding a Molotov cocktail. I don't know where she got it from. Next thing I know, everything's on fire. What? Jolene. What? Sticking around to see how this pans out for you guys. Too far! Get out of my way! Stay on! Maybe I rolled a razor. Maybe Tommy destroyed a jet ski. Dusty, he dented the roof. But Joe, you burnt down a house! As much fun as it was hanging out up in Sponstein, I'm itching to get down and meet up with TP and the Godfrey boys, because they always find some crazy stuff to get into. How's, how's the Arctic? Arctic was cold. What are you guys doing? Tug of war! Kayak tug of war. Extra competitive in? Travis Pastrana games all day? I came here for vacation, not to play Travis Pastrana over competitive games where he cheats and wins at everything anyways. I'm good just laying here on the boat. Uh, we're gonna go chill and enjoy this island. Dude, you don't want to play tug of war. No. Dusty, I know you're in. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna go freaking lounge around with these free Hey, we're doing cool things. I got winner. I got winner. Game on. All right. Of course I'm down for Trav's stupid competitions. Even though they always make you feel terrible because he cheats every time. Why are you guys always going backwards? There's a yes in competition. That is one hell of a rolling. Next up on Winner's Win, free dive. Deep free dive. One, two, three, show. No. Of course Travis chooses deep free diving for his competition. He just spent three weeks in Hawaii training for this. No. One, One two, two, three, shoot. I know they think I'm cheating, but to make it fair, we'll do a little Rochambeau to see who goes first. Uh, wait, why yeah, is well, he out? Well, no, know. you can, you're, you're already out, so it's one of you two gets to choose. Okay. Gets to go first, go. What am I gonna lose with? All right, one, two, three, shoot. <laughs> one, two, three, shoot. 
damn it! <laughs> and winners win! I don't know how they can say it's not an exact science. It's rock, paper, scissors. If you win, you go first. Winners win. Simple, the concept's in the name. Ethan, you're up first. We drop a line, put clothespins every 18 feet. Whoever grabs the most clothespins wins. Winners win! Why'd I win? Why'd I win? You never want to go first because everyone after you always has more time to learn how to cheat better. You can do this! First clip, coming up! Take a big breath. <laughs> First clip! Oh, that was a mission, you know? Dude, Dusty's going for it. He's really going. He's, as much as he's talking crap, he always does this. He comes up and he's like, oh, this is stupid, this is a dumb idea, and then he goes and wins. <laughs> At the end of the day, he will not lose. I guarantee he's going for more than that second one. He's got two. I could have gone to the third one. Well, I don't want to hear it, coulda. Yeah. Winners win. I'm not 10 years old. I'm going to kick back and relax with a cold beverage on this here boat. This is way better than contest mode with Travis and the kids. This is what we should be doing every day. Experiencing the island vacation style. I feel like we should go do cool, fun things. Perfect. Let's do that. Those kids beat themselves up. <laughs> Gives you wings. <laughs> he got the flippers and the weight belt. Kirk, where's the scuba tank? I took a free dive course with Dusty's girlfriend, Tara, and I have to say that she would have kicked his ass. He only got one. Ethan got two. Gavin and me got three. Josh needs to get four to take the win on this. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care if I cheat. I am going to win this event right now. He was cruising. Cruise down there. Oh, it's coming up. He's got four. He's got four. After the dive challenge, Dusty told us to meet him up on the top of a cliff. I think because he missed the first few challenges he's trying to overcompensate, he basically built a kicker off a 40-foot tall cliff. This is sketchy. I love it. I wouldn't trust me, but hey, it's here, right? <laughs> well, winners win. Building this is a win. Uh, you get to try it first. Winners win. I think I'm guessing 40 down and about 35, 40 out. We can guess all day. Let's hit this thing. Not only did Dusty build a sketchy ramp on top of this massive cliff that we have no idea what's at the bottom of, they just handed me this rusty old beach cruiser with pool noodles taped to the side of it. What could possibly go wrong? Hold on, hold on, I gotta sweep your ramp off. That really hurt. Actually, a lot more than I'd expected water to hurt. Kind of felt like getting hit by a two by four. Not so much here or here, but mostly here. I was actually worried that he was knocked out when the first thing that came up were just his feet and he was just gonna go back down. I was like, do I need to go in? I really don't want to if I don't have to. It's pretty rad, guys. It's awesome to come to Croatia. Really put our stamp on things. I'm pretty sure Croatia left its stamp on you. Dude, you have ripples from your board shorts. Front flips, back flips, white bounce, a TP roll. We all thought we were killing it. So Gavin had to double back flip and even stayed on his bike. That had to hurt. Oh, this is a perfect time to learn an alley-oop, tabletop 360. <laughs> yes. On a jump in Croatia. I, I couldn't agree with him. Oh, my god. I 
I got on the beach cruiser that didn't even have any air in the tires and I didn't even pedal. I don't know what went through my brain. I think I was just so scared of going off the cliff and yippee ki -yay. Dude, he stopped pedaling like 50 feet back and the run-in's only like 60 feet long. I think he didn't want to go any higher, but at the end of the day, losers lose, man. Uh, what happened? That was incredible. Everyone sent it, no one got hurt. Now we just gotta get back to the pirate ship and give the winner his trophy. Winners win. Not bad, dude. Hey, good day today. What's up, Dusty? Nothing. I just heard you won, so I brought you your trophy. Oh, sick. Oh, my God. You got to wear it. There's oh. no way. Oh! oh. 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 That's what you pay. Winners, Winners win, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Winners win. Winners this win. is my boat. Get off my boat. What do you mean, get, get off, off your boat? boat? What the hell? <laughs> get off my boat. Winners win. You guys have to get in the back boats. Have fun. Get off my boat. Whatever. Winners win. Oh, oh. no. Get the squid. Those guys worked really hard to catch that octopus, and I just threw it off the side of the boat. Winners win. Feels good. Congrats to Gav. He's a well-deserved winner on this event. Enjoy it, amigo. Just don't get too used to it. Woo!